Hey guys, Jason Fong here and over two months ago, I invested $1,000 into eToro copy trading. A lot has actually happened since that time. Today, I want to show you what actually happened throughout the entire 70 days. Why my account went from profit to negative. Why I decided to sell everything and just put all the money into copy trading one person and how much I actually made throughout the 70 days. If you are interested, make sure to keep watching. Hey guys, before we start today's video, I just need your help with something. After I released my previous video, I actually showed it to my cousin and he gave me a comment which is my YouTube background, which is my room right now, is a little boring. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Create a new background for my YouTube videos or do you like the current setup? Now let's start today's video. On February 20th, I released my first eToro video. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out. I started investing into eToro because it could generate passive income. Who doesn't like passive income? I invested $1,000 in that video and $1,000 was used to copy a few different people and buy a few different individual stocks. During that time, it was a bull run and all the stocks were going up. My entire portfolio was going up, up, up. It reached about 10% in profit. For your information, 10% was actually quite a good return. One day in March, I woke up, I realized there was a drop in profits. So I didn't really pay much attention to it. I thought it was normal. Then it kept dropping the next day, dropped even more the next day. I realized that the US has announced a big news that they were increasing bond yields and the market was now in a correction. People were starting to panic, taking money out of the markets. My profits were entirely wiped. Everything was red. It was like my account was going through a menstrual cycle. My hands got itchy and I wanted to do something about it. I know that the YouTube gurus has always taught us not to touch our portfolio, not to sell anything when everything's going bad, but I just couldn't resist it. I started doing an analysis on my account, on all my stocks, all the people I was copy trading, and I realized that some assets were actually doing better than others. Then I had an interesting idea that I wanted to try. Why not just sell everything and put it into copy trading just one person? What would happen? The best performer in my account that time was a lady investor called Ruby. But before using all my money in copy trading her, I decided to do some research. What I found out during that research was actually quite interesting. Today I want to show you what actually went through my head when I was making that decision. Now let's talk about point number one, the rate of return. Every month eToro actually emails me a popular investor fact sheet. This has a lot of information on how our popular investor has performed. And when I look at how much the yearly average returns that she was making, it was quite high at 19.83%. She was also beating the market by performing better than S&P 500. I got curious and I got this question in my head, how would this return compare to some of the greatest investors in the world? So I took Warren Buffett as a comparison. I went and created a table to compare her performance to Warren Buffett's annual return for the past four years. I realized that her performance in the past four years was actually better than Warren Buffett's. I'm not saying that she is better than Warren Buffett, he is a legend, but today we are just looking at the numbers and her numbers looks really good. The past four years, her numbers were better and this gave me a sense of confidence. Now let's talk about the second point which I consider, the number of trades. One more thing that I realized was there was a stat showing the number of trades per week. To be honest with you, I did not know what benefit that that stat had when I made the previous video, but now I know. Ruby has 14.83 trades per week, and the other people who I copied actually has 2 to 3. Ruby has a 4 times difference. This tells me that she was quite active in managing her trades. The benefit of this was that she was securing profit. And let me show you. At the bottom of this page, which shows my stats in copying her, there is a total open and a total close. And you can see that my total close is 48.88 cents. But what does this stat mean? This stat means that she is actively closing the trades and securing profits early. When the market actually drops, I wouldn't face as much as a loss compared to other people. 
because I would already have my profit secured early on. And this was actually shown in the past market correction where I copied three people and out of three, Ruby was the best performer. If you think that these two reasons are too simple to choose your popular investor, and you are right. I did not choose Ruby because of just these two reasons. I actually choose Ruby based on a lot more factors that I actually explained in my previous video, which you can check out. Now let's talk about why I decided to sell everything and just put all the money in one person. Why did I not want to spread my risk out and just copy a lot of people? Because to me, copying one popular investor is already diversification. You can see from their portfolio that they are already buying a lot of different stocks, buying different cryptos, some even buy Forex, and this is diversification. But the main reason why I did not want to copy too many people was because this was my passive income portfolio and I wanted to keep it simple. But this is just my style, you can use any style you want. If you like the content of this video so far, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so YouTube can show this video to even more people. Now let's talk about the thing that you have been waiting for. How much have I actually made over the past 70 days? My account was at $1,016 when I started. I tried to withdraw $50 because someone asked me whether the withdrawal feature was actually working. So I tried it out. And my current total profit is actually $12.59, which is about 1.23%. I know this is low, but it was supposed to be a lot higher. I made a mistake. Remember when I said I had itchy fingers? When the market dropped, I actually sold some of my assets for loss. And had I not adjusted anything and listened to the advice that all the stock gurus were giving, I might have made a lot more profit, maybe even 5% by this point. Maybe I shouldn't panic sell next time. But overall, the current numbers are really good. At least it is in the profit because a few weeks ago, the profit that you see here was actually in the red. It was negative 30. It actually rose about $80 in the past few weeks. What do I think about the platform after using it for 70 days? I would definitely continue using it and would consider even topping up more money in the near future. There is potential in this because if you're saying 20% a year, that means if you have $1,000, that's $200. If you have 10,000, that's $2,000. If you have 100,000, that's about $20,000. And that would compound every single year as your money grows. And that's all for today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Stay happy. I'll see you in my next video.